Let's go and welcome back everybody to Fruits of the Literature Club. Last episode we visited Natsuki in the hospital because she had a slip and fall accident courtesy of her father. Great! But with that being said, we did have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation with Natsuki. Told her that we would protect her. And honestly, it was just a great episode overall. A lot of good character development and like world building. I, I, I very much liked it. So I would highly recommend checking out the last episode if you haven't. But with that being said, we are now in the classroom again. And uh, I guess we're going to see how we deal with Natsuki's abuse and the festival and everything else that's going on in this mod. At this point, it's, it's getting pretty crazy. And I don't know when things are going to blow up, but it's coming soon. Mm. With that being said, let's get into the episode. Hold my backpack strap in my right arm, I open the door to the club room and notice Monica and Sayori inside. Yo. Hi, Rar. How are you doing? I'm fine. Uh, what about you two? I'm doing absolutely great. Glad to hear. What about you, Monica? Thanks for asking. I'm doing very well as to <laughs> I'm doing very well today as well. As well as well as well. Alright then. Uh where's Yuri? Right here. Yuri appears seemingly out of nowhere from the closet. A quick glance around the room reveals to me that each of the girls had something planned for Natsuki's return. She's coming back today, boys and girls? Okay. A few streamers are hung up and there's a little sign that says Welcome back, Natsuki. Oh, makes sense why Rar's in here, the big famous streamer, to welcome her back. Who are the others, though? Look at uh, the, those three already. Got their direction. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> Looks like you three already got the directions. <laughs> what? Looks like you three already got the decorations up. I was just so caught up in, in uh, I, I, I guess, my joke about streamers. I was like, should I continue this? Should I mention random streamers' names? Should I talk about my friends? And then I just also tried to read the line of text at the same time, and it was just... It was a catastrophe. What else am I supposed to say? <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna be so excited for when Natsuki sees all this. <laughs> oh my gosh, okay. It was such a terrible joke. I, I, I don't know why I was investing so much into it. You don't, uh, think this seems like a little much? I don't think so. Nope, in fact, I think Natsuki will love it. That's good. Especially since Rar is here. Yeah, we all know she wants to suck my dick, bro, okay? We know. What? Even when she was in the hospital, she went to go, uh, you went to go see her as much as you could. It's only been two days since she was admitted. Well, yeah, but you're still there for her. And? To a girl, that matters. I know how close you've become. <laughs> it's cute. Whatever you say, woman. I'm just doing what's right. So he jumps up and wraps her arms around me. You're such a good person. Get off me. I don't want to touch gross, icky girls like you. I'm saving my chastity for Natsuki. Thank you very much. I grab her shoulders and pull her off me. How many times must I tell you? Give me a warning. <laughs> Sorry. <clears throat> anyway. Everything does look great. Out of the corner of my eye, the club door is open. A familiar face walks in. Yes. Hey, guy. Sh she looks around the room in a stupor. What's all this? Did you miss me? Siori runs and give Nats gives Natsuki a hug. Monika and Yuri stand next to me. When she sees me, her face flushes. What are you looking at? No idea. I think it's just a pink-haired ghost. Guess that means I'm gonna get you haunted, huh? Well, you're welcome to try. Natsuki walks over and gently punches me in the arm. I pat her on the back and let her pass. The club room looks really cute. Thank you, guys. All the girls gather around the middle of the room and start talking. All of a sudden, the room goes quiet at the sound of a ringing. 
It's my work phone. Moshi Moshi. Okay, it's better than Natsuki's dad calling, I guess. Rar, where are you? I'm in the literature club right now. Why? What do you want? I have the results back from the search you wanted me to do. About Masamoto. Alright, uh, give me just a sec. I gesture to the girls that I'm going to step out for a sec. And I open the door and step out the hallway so that no one can hear my conversation. What do you got? You were right about him having no public records. I did a secondary search just to make sure. What? Y you didn't believe me? A little. You never do. Shut up! Anyway, I did a search for any private records that I could find. I only found scraps of names that were changed. Nothing that actually gave me information about him specifically. Name changes? Yeah, like maiden names or married names. Oh. I met the man just two days ago when Natsuki was admitted to the hospital. Wait, you did? Mm-hmm. Well, from what you told me about him, I'm glad that you're still alive. <laughs> I wasn't going to pull anything stupid. I wasn't going to pull any stupid white knight crap. Are you sure? What the hell does that mean, woman? You seem like you've gotten very close to this girl. Especially since you two have common ground to relate with. Ugh. <sighs> Yes, if you missed the episode, we also were abused as a child. It, it fun, again, funny, because we were talking about how Natsuki just absolutely has no grasp of, like, the human hardship and suffering that, that can exist in this world. Meanwhile, she had the exact same hardships we did. Granted, we also went to the military, and I don't know what the hell happened with that, but still. Sometimes I regret you knowing my past. Look at what you've become now. More than one person is proud of you, Rar. Julia, why don't you just confess to me and stop teasing? <laughs> what? Why would I confess any love to you? Yo, you know what? Hey, hey, hands up, hands down. Julia, best girl. Did you see the the soon dairy in her in her text over the phone? Oh, actually, I guess we're talking to her. Um, you know what I mean. Um, on the phone. Maybe because you find younger men more attractive. Oh, Julia, a little big titty milf. Okay. All right, you know, we don't have any of those in the DDLC club right now. We can get another member. Um, uh, you're so difficult. Whatever you say, Julia. You love being teased anyway. You, you know what? Let's just move on. If any of this information helps you, Masumoto said his wife died in a robbery. He seems to be about 5'11", dark brown hair, looks middle-aged, pink eyes. His eyes were pink? Oh, okay, yeah, they were like, uh, I would say like magenta, if anything. Natsuki's eyes are pink, bro. His were, were not like Natsuki's. Uh, yeah, I, I would say magenta. Over the phone speaker, I hear Julia typing. Good information, I can definitely use that. Just do me a favor and try not to kill him while you're there. I'll do whatever's necessary to keep Natsuki safe. But I'm making sure to get things through and not be rash. To think things through and not be rash. Good. Another thing, these records are of the local police department running a search of that name. Uh, what came of it? Nothing. I don't see any further information regarding that. But looking at the department's policies, it was probably an ID check of some sort. Ah, so nothing would have helped us either way, huh? Correct. Just please try and be safe. Somehow his records man managed to vanish. It means he could have really high connections. Yeah, I got it. Don't worry, Julia. Thank you for your help. It, like, definitely means he has very high connections. My mind is immediately going to, like, uh, like Breaking Bad, Better Call Saul, that, like, whole series about, you know, when, like, they call that guy to change their identity and stuff like that. They ask for, like, the, the, Hoover, the specific, like, Hoover model vacuum, and it costs, like, half a million dollars to, to, you know, wipe your identity and stuff like that and get a new one. You know, that's crazy. You gotta have some high connects, dude. I assume that that's pretty much what it's always gotta be. Interesting. Um, 
I had to call and look up from the floor. That would be very interesting if that, like, comes into play, about him being connected to, like, some kind of, like, cartel mafia as well. He does, uh, you know, in many mods, people also have him, like, going out for late nights doing some, like, obscure things. Um, I don't know. I don't know. I had to call and look on the f uh, look up from the floor. No records at all, huh? Who are you, Masumoto? What? <laughs> Everything hurts. I feel something coming. I lean over the cold cement and vomit into a nearby bucket. What did you give me? I don't know. It was one of the pills I bought earlier. I'm not stupid enough to try myself. But you're a strong boy, right? You can take one for the team. I know it sounds hard to believe, but at this point, this dark room just got darker. I truly felt as if there were no walls anymore. I vomit again into the bucket. You're throwing up the dinner I gave you. God damn it, boy! Let my strength slowly leave my body, I lie on the floor. I just focus on breathing. My heartbeat becoming the only thing I can hear at this point. At least, I can hear it. I haven't died yet. You're just gonna lie there. Fucking lazy little prick. How's it going? He's just lying over there. Jeez, how many did you give him? Just one. That's a lot for a kid. I uh, thought he could handle it. Thought he was strong. He doesn't look like it. I don't give a damn anyway. He just vomited twice, so he should be out of his system. Actually, it will linger for a while. You should get him some water. <sighs> There's a hose down there. If he so desperately needs water, he can get it himself. Alright. Huh? What? Mom. <laughs> oh my god, you pathetic. Where is his mother? Don't worry about it. Come on, let's get out of here. This sight sickens me. M Mom. Please. Help. Everything feels tingly. I can't move my body. Why does dad hate me? Why does he do this to me? Maybe I should just stop. The only thing I'm able to control is my breathing. If I stop breathing, how fast would I die? I'm starving. I'm cut. I'm beaten. I'm drugged. I... Roar! Hello! Is there anyone in there? What? Where am I? That's right. I'm alive. Oh, uh, sorry about that, Natsuki. It's about time. You've been out here for a long time just staring into space. What was I now? Uh, again? I'm sorry. I just had something on my mind. Mm. Are you okay? Uh, you have a really odd look on your face. Yeah, I'm fine. I just had an important call that made me think about something. Not that I was worried or anything. I just want to talk to you privately. Thank you for being here uh, for me all this time. And don't tell anyone I said that. I'll be super mad. I won't. <laughs> Sassy as always. I've actually grown quite fond of her Sundari-esque attitude. Makes it fun to mess with her and joke around sometimes. That's exactly why I love it as well. This is why I love Natsuki exactly, dude. Oh, gosh. Sundaries are so good because you can get them flustered so easily. It's so fun to just play with them, dude. It's so fun. Is that messed up? I love playing with their little heartstrings, dude. Sundaries, they, their little hearts just can't take it. They explode so easily, man, and it's so cute. But if she's asking, acting this way, uh, then I know she's comfortable. And right now, my stomach is in several knots. But if she's feeling okay, that's all I really care about. Also, there's something I want to talk to you about. Spit it out. Thank you for keeping things calm with my dad. 
I wouldn't necessarily say our exchange was calm, but whatever floats the boat. He sat down and talked to me and told me what you said to him. I was almost sure you would have tried to fight him. I'm not some kind of roid-raged guy looking for a fight every day. Especially with one of my friend's fathers. I guess. Would it be different if, like, I was your girlfriend, though, Rar? Yeah, of course. I was just scared that when you two met, you would fight. And I don't want you to get hurt. Not that you would, just... I wave my hand up. I understand. Listen, Natsuki. This situation with your father isn't something that I can really just run into like a hero. Trust me, I really do want to rush in and start beating him senseless for what he's done to you. But if we're going to handle this, we need to be realistic, okay? As I said before, as long as it's with you, uh, as long as it is you, I trust you. I wait for her normal witty comment along the lines of, I mean, not that that means anything. <laughs> but nothing. What's that look for? I expect you to give me some attitude or comment about that. Well, I trust you. I don't trust many people, so feel special. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Don't push your luck, mister. Pushed? I pretty much shoved it. I chuckle slightly. You're lucky I give you enough to say things like that. I wonder why you do. I gently rub my chin with my index finger, mocking a thinking gesture. Natsuki looks away, slightly flustered. You're gonna make me say it, aren't you? Maybe. Uh, I like you, okay? Dude, she already said she liked us like five episodes ago. Why are we forcing her to say it again? Oh my gosh, we're loving toying with Natsuki. I love it, dude. All of a sudden, I'm relating to MZ a little bit. Happy now? Yeah. Oh, shit! Okay, but this is when, like, you gotta put the ring on her finger, bro. I mean, come on. Like, we, we can't we can't taunt and tantalize her this much. Why is that such a big deal with you? Because you're always teasing me. I wanted to give you a little taste of your own medicine. You shouldn't tease a girl with her feelings like that. Who's to say? I don't share the same. Oh, shit, bitch! That's right. Don't... Don't taunt a man that is also in love with you, Natsuki. Mm. Alright. So, uh, next episode we're probably gonna get married, or what? What? You heard me. That's not funny, you know? There's no way you could like someone like me. I, I mean... Natsuki stomps the ground angrily. So cute! <laughs> Forget you heard that. Nah. I heard it loud and clear. I pat her on the head and look into her eyes. Your reaction is almost as cute as you are. Yes! Oh my gosh. Dude, all of a sudden, MC is just saying, like, this is literally me. Like, this is me. This is what I would say, dude. I'm not cute. Yes! Oh, it's so good. Don't you just love to get the good feels again? Oh gosh, happy times. Happy Rar, happy Natsuki. Smirking, I stopped pattering on the head and decided to ease up on her. Right, right. You're so difficult at times. I never said I wasn't. <clears throat> anyway, what I was saying is true. Uh, but what makes you think I couldn't like someone like you? I make quotes with my fingers. Because you're strong, brave, abrupt, and talented. And? I'm none of those things. I mean, I'm always really mean to my friends and strangers. I read manga and nothing more sophisticated like Yuri or Monica would. I don't have any real talents other than baking. And I'm not... Natsuki looks down and then to the left, trailing off her sentence. Not as pretty as someone like Monica. Natsuki, you just gotta know you're the woman for me. Natsuki, if I didn't like you, do you think I'd put up with your attitude all the time? 
or get myself involved with your father? As well as spend all of this time with you? <clears throat> she continues to look off to the side, but evidently uh, reassured. I guess. Trust me. I didn't want to be around you. If I didn't want to be around you, I would have left a long time ago. I enjoy the time we spend together. Well, of course you'd love spending time with me. You're just as much of a loser as I am. <gasps> yes! Yes! Belittle me, Natsuki! Oh, this is going great. I love this conversation. This is the best hallway conversation North America, at least. Maybe not European, but at least North American. Uh, ouch. That hurt. <laughs> Natsuki giggles quietly and smiles. Wait, did I just tell her I had feelings for her? I think I did. Oh well, I guess it could have gone worse. So the big strong guy really does like me, doesn't he? <laughs> She's reading my mind! You're so easy to read when you're making those weird faces. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. I do. See, that wasn't so hard. Look who's talking. Every time you speak to me, you blush a little bit. Oh! I do not. Sure. Don't start getting cocky. Just because we both have feelings for each other doesn't mean we're dating or anything. Yeah, I'd have to ask you to be my girlfriend. Like, Natsuki, would you do me the honor of being my girlfriend? <laughs> yeah, you would. Did you just ask me out? Yes! <gasps> yeah, I did. I lean forward and look into her eyes. What's your answer? Hmm. Dude, my heart's racing, dude. Natsuki taps her chin, mocking the expression I was doing for just moments before. Sure, why not? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't want to make a boy cry. Oh my god. I love this banter. Oh my god. I love it so much. What the hell, dude? Whatever you say. I pat her on the shoulder and motion back to the club room. Let's go back to the club room for now. Girlfriend. <laughs> I wasn't going to start wondering what we're doing to each other out there. Whoa! Okay. As we walk back into the room, Natsuki remains close by my side. I even catch a few glimpses out of her, uh, of her pecking at my hand. Peeking at my hand, sorry. Silently chuckling to myself, I half consider grabbing hers, but I dismiss it. You pussy! What the fuck? Oh my gosh. Mm-mm. 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 We had the reads. We saw she was ogling. Imagine if we walked into the club room holding hands. Do you, could you imagine Yuri, Siori, and Monica's impression? Uh, 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 sorry, reactions. Oh my god, it would be golden. It would be golden pony boy. <sighs> Maybe next time. She would have probably recoiled and started berating me. <laughs> I can picture it now. What do you think you're doing, dummy? <laughs> you may be my boyfriend, but that doesn't mean I want to hold hands with you or something. When Natsuki and I walk into the room, the girls are all standing next to each other, blocking a desk with their bodies. What's going on here? Sorry, just... I just burped. I wanted to hold that in. Didn't want to let it out. That's gross. Burps are gross. Okay, here we go. Dramatic music, by the way. Oh, Natsuki. We're just waiting for you to come back from getting raw. Took you long enough. I see. We have a present for you. A present for me? Yep. The girls move away from the desk to reveal a pink and white bag. It has a little tag on it that says, We missed you, Natsuki. We may not be with you all the time. But we know he can be. Dude. I, like... 
I'm 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 gonna be straight up with you right now. I didn't really like this mod much up until the last two episodes. This has been pretty solid. Do I think it's actually like amazingly well written still? No, but it's like oddly appealing to like me right now, and I'm loving it, dude. This is great. Oh! He? Natsuki looks into the bag and pulls out a stuffed bear. They meant the fucking bear, bro? What the fuck? Not me? Oh, no. <laughs> I got baited so hard. Oh, my God. The stuffed bear is tannish brown, has little black eyes, and sits on his rear with front paws down as he's on his guard. It's kind of cute, actually. You guys got me a stuffed animal? Yep. Of course. You're a great friend to all of us. This is the least we could do. And it was Rar's idea, too. Your idea? Mm-hmm. I know it sounds very weird coming from someone like me, but if I'm not around to help you, same with the other girls here, you will be. I named him for you, too. His name's, uh, Rar Jr., bitch. <laughs> you did? Gosh dang it. <clears throat> In Suica. What the hell? In Suica. In Suica. In Suica? In Suica. <laughs> what the hell? Really? Okay, sure. Whatever. I did some research, and I know that you're fierce and valiant at times. And Insuika is the champion of the Reign of Fire in Yukat... You... You... Ah, mythology. Natsuki lowers her head and rushes to me. When she impacts me, she wraps her arms around me and remains completely silent. The other girls look at me as if their hearts have melted. After a moment, Natsuki releases me and smiles. I love him. Thank you, Rar. As he turns away and looks at the other girls. Thank you all, too. I'm really lucky to have you guys as my friends. And I'm glad to be a part of this club. She hugs each of the girls. I turn away and look out the window into the afternoon outside. That sentence just doesn't sound good to me, but whatever. I really thought I read it wrong. If I disappear one day and never return, he can serve as a reminder of someone. You've changed. Aww. Aww. That was such a beautiful episode. I loved that. I loved that so much. And as I'm sure many of you guys noticed, this was a long episode as well. Half hour, 30 minutes. Let's freaking go. If you really enjoyed me posting a longer video, and you're happy, you respect it, you want me to do more of it, like the video. I it, 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 Seeing more likes just means like, yo, I'm doing something right here. You guys are enjoying the longer videos. Ha another reason I, I, I mentioned, like, you know, I talked about this um, last episode, but I didn't mention this part of it. I can see how long people usually watch my videos for. And, um, and usually it is only about like six minutes, uh, five minutes, three minutes, two minutes. I ranges from like two to six minutes. So that's also why I'm like, well, if I don't really have the time to make longer videos and people aren't even really watching even the full length of most of my episodes anyway, why would I do more? Um, like I said, if a lot of you guys comment down below, you're happy that I'm doing longer episodes, you like the video, it shows that there is still like a pretty good demographic there that wants longer. So please let me know, and I, I, I will try my best. I just also need, like, positive support from you guys to continue and be able to make longer videos. So yeah, 
thank you. Um, I appreciate it a lot. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I also do live stream on Twitch every day besides Monday and Friday. My Twitch link is right at the top of the description of the YouTube video. Like right right below the video, like the description, you'll see a little link that says I goes RAR. Click it. Come check it out. Amazing content over there. Hours and hours and hours and hours of content. If you really want longer episodes like you know, you could just get like a, a, a like a longer episode on my Twitch stream. You know, you could just be there for like three hours. Again, it's like endless there. Just try out my Twitch channel. Come by, say hi if you never have before. That's the one thing that I honestly would appreciate and respect even more than the likes and comments here. Just come say hi on Twitch. See if you enjoy it. It would make my day. But with that being said, thank you for watching, everybody. Much love. Take care and have a damn good one.